First look at the gestures which Google has added in Android 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a first look at the new gesture navigation system which Google has added in Android 10. How do you access it? You need to go into settings and then you need to go into system and then you need to click on gestures and then you need to click on system navigation. As you can see, Right now, the option for gesture navigation is not available to me. Why is that? That is because I am running a custom launcher, which is Nova Launcher on my Android device right now. The current implementation of gestures in Android 10 does not allow third party launchers to access the gestures. So you need to default back to the pixel launcher for that we'll go back into settings we'll go into apps and notifications default apps home application change it to pixel launcher now we got a notification about the new system navigation so we'll go back into settings and then system gestures and then system navigation and as you can see the gesture navigation option is now enabled tap on it and we now have the new android 10 gestures running on our Android device. So how do you access and work with the new gestures which Google has implemented in Android 10? We'll start with how do you go to the home screen? You just swipe up and bam, we are on the home screen. You see these two love handles as I prefer to call them. If you swipe up from the edge, it will open the Google Assistant. So swiping up from either edge will open up your Google Assistant. How do you open the app drawer? You just swipe up and you have the app drawer if you want to go back to the home screen a little swipe up and bam we are back on the home screen how do you access your recents you swipe up and hold at like one third so swipe up hold and we have our recent applications if you click on the icon of the recent application you can choose between app info and split screen if you want to kill an application you just swipe up and you kill the application how do you kill all the applications you swipe all the way across and you have this option called clear all which will kill all the applications i think it is kind of foolish of google to put that option over here i would personally prefer it somewhere down here so that i do not have to scroll all the way across to clear up all the applications you can also toggle between the various application using the new gesture implementation so let's say we are in settings a little swipe will take me to my previous application a little swipe Will take me to the other previous application and so forth you can also switch between the application which was before this by going in the other direction how do you go back you can swipe from either edge so let's say we are in settings a little swipe you see the small arrow and it went back back into settings if i swipe from this edge i can go back as well so that is your implementation of back you can swipe from either edge another feature which they have added is say you have an application which has a hamburger menu you have the option of tap and peek it is kind of weird and it does take some time to get used to but if you tap here and there it is you can see i can now swipe and i get the hamburger menu this at times will obstruct or get in the way of the back gesture and i think Google is working on that, trying to fix that because you do have the option of adjusting the sensitivity. So if you go back into gestures and your system navigation, you click on this gear icon, you have the option of adjusting the back sensitivity. Another gesture which I think would have been very useful is swipe down to open the notification shade. From what I am reading, Google did have this option implemented, but they did not merge it into the Android 10 source code, which is why you do not have that option. But I think that would have been a pretty nifty option to have with this new gesture implementation in Android 10. So what do you peeps think of implementation of gestures by Google and how would you improve them? Let me know via comments below. 
that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you